Hello and welcome back to our guide on sending print and cut jobs with Plexisign GR edition. Now we're going to start off with a very basic print and cut job for stickers. So I'm going to import Triceratops. It's a PNG bitmap but with no background. Now I just want to apply a cut contour path around this and send it to print and cut. In this case, I just have to go to the Effects tab, Contour Cut, Contour is selected, I can adjust my offset like so, and then I click Apply, and that's ready. Now I'm also going to add a second Cut Contour path, just by selecting my object, going to Effects and Cut Contour. And in this case, I'm going to choose a rectangle instead. There's my rectangle. Now, if I want to set a different pressure or speed for this cut path, I have to choose a different cut contour. So I'm going to select cut contour 3 and press apply. That's ready now. I just want to make some copies and send this one. I just have to go to arrange, step and repeat. Here you can adjust the amounts of columns and rows, like so. When I'm happy I just click apply and there we are. Now one last thing before I send this to the cutter, I need some registration marks so the cutter knows where to look and where to start cutting. I just have to go to effects, contour cut mark, marks my Roland GR will appear automatically, now I just press OK now my job's ready to export. So I can export this job for printing in EPS or PDF format so that my contour cut lines aren't printed. And then I just have to go to cut contour window and I can send the job straight to my production manager queue. Here it is. One thing to remember for the Roland GR is when I hit send, it's going to immediately start looking for the bottom left registration mark, which is highlighted with an arrow. So before you send the job, make sure your print job is finished, loaded onto the cutter, and that the knife is positioned over the bottom left registration mark. So that was not so difficult. Let's look at a different scenario. So in this case, I'm going to import my socks. Now, I'm going to apply contour cut path to these socks. Ah, but it's around the edge. The socks still have a white background applied, so it's not going to follow the path of the socks. We can solve that very quickly by going to bitmap, make transparent, select the white, done. Now if I go to effects and contour cut, the path is going to follow the outline of my socks. Now again, we're going to go to Arrange, Step and Repeat, and we're going to make some copies like before. But let's see if we can nest these in a way which will save us some media. Just going to go to the Arrange tab and select True Shape Nest. I'm going to enter here the width of my media. possible to set further spacing between the copies if you would like or to change the angle of rotation but we're just going to see how these nest now and if we scroll out we see that we've saved ourselves quite a substantial amount of media now we're just going to again go to effects contour cut mark apply this job is ready to export and ready to send to the cutter. Please join us next time for our guide on how to prepare jobs for Roland Versaworks.